Are you feeling a little stuck and blah when it comes to putting together your travel wardrobe packing list? Do you feel like you're packing those same things over and over again? I certainly do. I feel like I've gotten into a fashion rut and I am ready to change things up a bit. Today, we're going to explore putting together a travel capsule wardrobe based on your three signature style words. Once you know what your personal style is, and those three words that describe it, you can put together a streamlined wardrobe that's not only versatile, but it'll also show your personality to the world while you are traveling. I'm gonna bring you along as we shop my closet, dresser drawers, and those boxes under the bed to figure out what my three words are. Then we're gonna to put together a spring and summer travel capsule wardrobe. Let's go. Now, I did not come up with this three signature style words on my own. I actually got this from watching a video by Alyssa Bell Tempo. She's a slow fashion influencer here on YouTube and I love her channel. I will have her video linked below that specifically talks about choosing your three signature style words. One of the things she stresses is that you should come up with creative adjectives to describe your style, not just steer towards basic ones like bohemian or classic or minimalist, although those can be used as one of the three words, but try to be a little more creative in coming up with your adjectives because it will help you down the road in putting your outfits together. Another suggestion she makes is to think about things from an everyday perspective, like how you wear your clothes every day and not necessarily aspirationally. Now, because we are using this process to put together a travel capsule wardrobe, it means that you're going to want to think about what you usually do when you are traveling or specifically for whatever trip that you are planning to go on. So you definitely want to take into consideration what activities that you will be doing. Again, don't don't think aspirationally, think about ways that you truly are going to be wearing your clothes. The first step in this process is to go into the closet and dresser drawers and like I have boxes under the bed and pull out those items that you gravitate towards on a regular basis. The ones that make you feel confident and secure that when you know you gotta get out the door fast and you wanna wear something that makes you feel good, you pull these items. Now, it doesn't have to just be clothing items, it can be accessories too, like scarves and jewelry. If you're a belt person, it can be belts. And we can pull all these things out. You can put them out on your bed, or today I'm going to put them on a rack so we can take a better look at them. I have not done a seasonal switch yet, so my closet is still full of a lot of winter items, which tend to be a little bit different colors and textures than I use for spring and summer. But I am gonna pull some items from there. I have some spring and summer stuff that I have in some drawers and in boxes around. And I'm just, I'm just gonna get started pulling things. And I want to stress that I did not spend very much time pulling these items out. In fact, it was probably less than 10 minutes. I wanted it to be more of a stream of consciousness kind of selection. I didn't wanna to spend too much time weighing pros and cons when I was picking items. I wanted to just go straight to those items that I gravitate towards and pull those. The next step here is to look for common themes amongst this variety of clothing. You wanna look at like textures and see if you are a more soft material person. Like I have quite a few soft pieces in here, some very soft cottons, not a lot of stiff materials like the denim. I mean, there's a couple of pieces of denim, but most of my stuff tends to be a little softer. The other thing you might want to look at is structure. Do you have more form-fitting, structured items or more loose, flowy type items? Like I am clearly gravitating towards a more flowy silhouette than I do something that is more structured. And lastly, look and see if there's a color theme that falls within the clothing that you've picked out. Uh, for me, it's it leans blue although I do have a variety of other colors here, some black and white and khaki as well, plus a couple of oddballs with this coral color shirt and this maroon style dress. Now, the maroon dress, I know that I bought based on the silhouette of the dress and not necessarily the color, although 
I do love the color maroon, but it's not typically a color I'm drawn to. So I know that this dress I bought more on the style of the dress itself and not because of the color. This coral color shirt, however, I love this color and I do wear it quite often. I have a few other items that are close to this color that I do wear in the summertime, but none, none quite as much as I wear this shirt, which I happen to get for like $2 at Walmart on sale. Crazy. And it happens to be one of my favorite items I've had for like four or five years. And so those are my items. Now from here, it is interesting. As I pointed out, I do have a lot of soft fabrics, which is something I didn't think would actually come to play in picking these out. I don't consider myself bohemian though, because I think when I think bohemian, I think like Frankie from Grace and Frankie. Grace, today I wish to discover the real Frankie. I'm not that person with 5,000 rings on my fingers and lots of necklaces or anything. I, I'm still pretty minimal. First word would be minimal. I, I don't like to wear a lot of accessories and I like to keep the number of items of clothing that I'm wearing really down to, you know, a pair of pants and a top and maybe jacket or a sweater over that. The second word I would use, and I, like I said, I don't want to use the word bohemian. I don't know if flowy is the right word, but I feel like it's a very beach type style. Now, not not anything like the coastal grandmother aesthetic that was hugely popular last year. I think I lean towards a natural beachy sort of style. So I'm going to use the word beachy. Probably the last word would be casual because I am, I am into wearing more flip-flops and sandals and flats these days than I am putting on a pair of heels or even wedges when I go out. So I think those are going to be my three words. We're going to go with casual first, minimal second, third is a beachy flowy. And I, I probably need to come up with a better adjective than that. Do any of you guys have a good alternative for the word beachy? Because I feel like it's not, it doesn't quite encapsulate what I'm trying to say. So I will ponder on that a bit. But for now, we're going to stick with casual, minimalist, beachy as my three theme words. So now we need to like figure out how to take all of this and create a travel capsule wardrobe from it all. Well, I'm not necessarily going to use just these pieces to create the travel capsule wardrobe, but I'm going to use those three words that I got from looking over these pieces to put that travel capsule wardrobe together. If you've watched any of my other travel capsule wardrobes, then you kind of have an idea of the basic foundation that I like to use when putting together my travel capsule wardrobes. Usually I'll start out with like four bottoms and five tops and a dress or something dressier. And we'll start from there and then we'll kind of build with, you know, a jacket or a sweater or other accessories that I want to add in after I have those, those basic like nine or 10 items down. By the way, I did actually create a free ebook that goes through step by step on how to create a basic travel capsule wardrobe. And if you want to get that free ebook, just click the link that's in the description below. Let's get started. Now, a couple of the bottoms I'm going to bring that are not in the items that I picked as my everyday items because some of them are newer and I haven't had the opportunity to know if those are things I gravitate towards yet or not, but I want to include them in this travel capsule wardrobe because I think they'll be very useful. The very first thing that we're going to add are my magic pants. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll have that link below in the description as well and probably at the end of this video. These pants are a lycra like yoga material pants and they fit so well and they can be dressed up or dressed down and they make a great travel day pair of pants. They'll be our first bottom. Because it is summer and spring, I am going to go with my lighter color jeans. And these actually are more of a cream color than they are white, but I, I love these. Hence why they're in this set of uh, things that I gravitate towards. They just fit really well. They're something that I picked up at TJ Maxx in the fall, and I have worn them so much this winter, and I have a feeling I will be wearing them a lot this spring and summer too. The next thing that I'm going to include is a skirt, and I need to go run and get that. Here is the skirt. It's a black Lee skirt I just picked up at Walmart last week. 
which is why it's not in this set yet. Uh, it's super comfortable. And again, it's something that can be dressed up or dressed down and it's black. So it goes with a lot of things and it won't show a lot of dirt. So currently I have one pair of black pants, a black sport and cream colored jeans. And the last bottom that I'm going to include is a pair of shorts. I always like to travel with shorts. I know, I know they're a subject of controversy amongst many of us who are over 40 years old, but I personally, I live at the beach. I walk a lot. I actually really like my legs. So I do like to wear shorts, especially if I'm traveling somewhere in the spring or summer. The shorts that I'm going to take are these khaki pair of shorts because they are, they're a good classic pair of shorts that you again can dress up or dress down. I do like to bring a dress along. That's something that can be convertible, again, dressy or not dressy. And I think for this, I will bring this pretty little Mac Studio dress that I got at, again, TJ Maxx last summer, I believe. It is something that I can put a pair of nice sandals on and go out to a nice restaurant, or I can wear it with my white tennis shoes and it looks super casual for a day out of touring around. It's very soft and lightweight and flowy, because we know flowy is one of my things. So that is gonna be my dress for this travel capsule wardrobe. Now for the tops, because this is where we get to be creative when we are putting together our travel capsule wardrobe. Because we have such basic colors for the bottoms, I can be a lot more creative with my tops because pretty much any of those bottoms will go with any of these tops that I have in here for my, my favorites. All right, we're gonna pick out five tops. Now, this little flowy black top is another favorite of mine that I, whew, I have had this for probably eight or nine years. It's nice little like circle neck that comes up around here and it shows off my shoulders, which I really like in the summertime when I have a tan. So I can wear this with those khaki shorts for a more casual look, but I can also put it on with that skirt and it's a little bit dressier and I could go out to dinner and something like that. I do like to travel with like a, a t-shirt that has some sort of design on it that's not just a basic plain color. I think that's one of the issues why I felt so bored with my wardrobe lately is I feel like I just have a lot of plain colored stuff and I haven't had a lot of pattern or color, especially over the past six months. And we're gonna do a blue t-shirt with a little bit of a design, again, pretty casual. This is one of my absolute favorite shirts of all time. I did actually get this in Paris at a street market. And I wish I had bought like four or five more shirts like this. It has lasted so well and it's gotten so soft and comfortable. It is absolutely one of my favorites. And again, something that can be dressed up or dressed down depending on what you wear it with. So we've got three shirts, we're down to two more. Well, this is where it starts getting a little challenging, right? So I think we are going to add this coral color shirt because again, it is absolutely one of my favorites and I always feel fantastic when I wear this shirt. I just feel alive, brightens up my mood, it definitely goes with all of the bottoms that are in there and it can be dressed up or dressed down. So we are gonna add this little pop of color to our wardrobe. For our last shirt, I'm debating between, because I do like to have a layering piece that's a little more layering and this is kind of flowy. I think I'm gonna go with this flowy tank top. I always feel good in this and it is a really nice layered piece that I can layer under, you know, a jacket or something. You'll notice I don't have a whole lot of button up shirts or jackets in here. I'm very broad shouldered. It is challenging for me to find button up shirts that work with my shoulders. And honestly, in the summer and spring, I don't want to wear something like that anyway. Now we have our five shirts, four bottoms and a dress which pretty much should make it through any type of vacation. You do need a couple of layering pieces. And of course, we're gonna take this jean jacket as one of the layering pieces. I would probably wear this on my travel day and wear this with my magic pants, the graphic t-shirt underneath this as my travel day outfit. Kind of a little on the casual side. If I wanted to dress it up a bit, I might wear my white tank top. I just, I just don't like to wear white when I am traveling on a travel day because I feel like, 
I'm taking chances that I'm going to spill coffee on myself because that that's just me. I'm clumsy that way. And then I want to have one more layering piece. And I'm not sure. I do like to take a lightweight sweater. A lot of times I'll take my little three quarter sleeve black cardigan. It's a little too structured, I think, for my theme words. And I want something that maybe I can wear with the dress. Hmm. Let me think about this. So I think this is going to be our second layering piece. It's loose and comfy, but it's also big enough that it might look good over some of those things that might get a little bulky in the shoulders, like that coral shirt and the dress. Now for the last part of the capsule wardrobe, and that is shoes. You should probably think about limiting the number of shoes you bring to either three or four pairs of shoes. And obviously you want to wear your heaviest pairs of shoes on your travel day, especially if you are flying. For spring or summer, I feel like you can get away with closer to four pairs of shoes because sandals and flip-flops really don't take up that much space. For me, I love shoes and I like having that variety. So I usually will try to pack in three pairs of shoes and then again, wear my heaviest pair of shoes on the plane. For this capsule, I think that I'm going to go with these white tennis shoes that you guys have seen a ton because they're comfortable. I can walk around in them a lot and they look really cute with pretty much everything that I have picked out for the wardrobe. Next, I would bring for my daily shoes would be these Sanooks in a cream color. For dressier occasions, I have these bronzy colored Sorels that I would bring. I do like these to wear with my black dress. Lastly, I would bring either a super basic pair of black flip flops or I would consider bringing like these black quilted slides from Jessica Simpson because, you know, the quilted um, texture, I guess, is really still in this season. So it is a little bit trendy, but it also give another option for dressing up some of the items that I have in the capsule wardrobe. Of course, you're going to want to pick out some of your favorite accessories to liven up your outfits. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know I am a big fan of big, bright, colorful earrings. And I'm also loving this convertible purse that you can wear as a crossbody by day and then switch out the crossbody strap for a wrist strap and make it a nice little clutch for the evenings. I hope that you have found some inspiration for putting together your spring and summer packing list. Let me know in the comments below what your three signature style words are. If you're looking for a little more advice on how to pack less but still have some variety with your travel wardrobe, you should probably check out this video next. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.